Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and what is going on here in the lower time frames. Later on we're also gonna have a look into the logarithmic growth chart of Bitcoin and there is where you're gonna see why you should be still scaling in some nice buy orders to buy as much Bitcoin as possible and of course also if you have already a hodl position where you potentially can buy cheaper Bitcoin if the bearish scenario is going to play. But for all the no coiners or all the newcomers make sure that you watch this video especially in the part where you see the logarithmic growth chart because this is going to be very important especially for the long term. So now let's start first here in the four hour time frame because as you can see right now Bitcoin is again in this upwards trending channel that previously we lost and right now we are entering again. So we are trading right here in the middle of this channel and I think it is very likely that if this consolidation phase that we are seeing right now is going to be successful and we're going to see a breakout here to the upside it is very likely that we're going to test here this region of around $25,000. So the resistance currently is right here at $24,700. So watch out for a potential breakout from this $23,800 because if you are taking a nice long position over on Bybit or Femex you can do also here some nice gains here with this potential breakout that could happen here to the upside and if this resistance is getting broken then be ready that Bitcoin could shoot up immediately towards $30,000 because above this resistance here we have completely no data and the only possible target that we have is this $30,000 the next Fibonacci extension based on previous data that we have so far but if we're not gonna see now a breakout to the upside and also break this resistance here at $24,700 then be pretty prepared to see here a potential correction at least down towards the 20 moving average in the 4 hour which is right here $21,000 and if this one is also getting lost then we may be going to see a potential test here of $20,000 so we're going to test here this potential new support that previously was of course a very huge resistance here this $20,000 so if we're coming down to these levels it's going to be very key to see if 20k is now holding as a very strong support or if we're gonna see again the price moving below $20,000 which in my opinion is still very possible to happen but if here 20k is gonna be the confirmed support then this could be a very nice long entry and also a very nice buy entry especially if you're gearing up here to break out towards 25 and go towards $30,000. So let's see here in the next couple of hours where we're going to have these four hour closes because so far as you can see after we left this upwards trending parabolic channel we now started to consolidate and the nine moving average in the four hour currently is holding as a support. So as long as we're closing these four hour candles above 22,700 we should be good to go to the upside and potentially break here this $23,800 resistance. So if you want to scale in some longs maybe with low level you can start already now and probably it is good to scale it in down to $20,000 so if you go with low leverage then you should be doing fine the only concerning thing here in the four hour is that we're still very overbought in the RSI also my own indicator we got here a sell signal and it is very likely that we could see a complete retracement at least towards the 20 moving average here $21,000 maybe even have a possible test here of 20k before we're gearing up here to break this uh, 20 $23,800 resistance so let's keep an eye here on these four hour closes that we're gonna have during the day because I think a breakout will happen latest by tonight and now if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently after overshooting it to the upside we retrace down to the 9 moving average so there is a high chance that we maybe go down to test the middle line before we gear up here to the upside so a possible $21,000 retest is still in the cards also because stochastic now is shifted to the downside so as soon as here we're gonna have a bullish cross I think we're good to go to the upside again but watch out my friends if we're gonna lose here this $21,000 or $20k support so if we're starting to close 4 hour candles below these price levels we could be in a major correction and we're gonna see the 
targets later on in the weekly time frame now let's go over to the daily because here as you know by now we are of course still looking very very bullish with trending above all the moving averages and the nine day right now is here at twenty thousand dollar this moving average is always a very strong support level also when we have pullbacks so as you can see during the whole trend here when we also broke here 20k the nine day moving average acted as a very strong support and i think even if we come down here to test the nine day again right here twenty thousand dollar we will still remain here to the upside and we will see potentially this breakout from this twenty four thousand dollar area pretty soon also in the rsi we still have some room left to the upside we are not completely in overbought condition of course we are already entering in overbought condition so a correction or a pullback is still in the cards here at least towards 21 to 20 thousand dollar but bitcoin is still looking very bullish for the long term so we should look for good long opportunities and if you just always enter in when we touch here the nine day moving average so far you have been doing very very fine and that's why i think even though we could come down again towards 20k take it as a good buy and long opportunity even though of course there is also the risk that we could even fall below this price level and therefore now we go over into the weekly time frame because here my friends as i told you now in many videos already here this is where we see the potential targets for a bearish scenario so for a potential bigger correction in the bitcoin price if we're gonna see some kind of a sell-off then watch out here first for the nine weekly moving average at seventeen thousand four hundred dollar at the time of recording and if we're gonna lose this support then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average right at thirteen thousand nine hundred fifty dollars so let's say fourteen thousand dollar so if somehow we're gonna have a major correction like we also have seen in the past here then watch out for this moving average because bitcoin usually retraces always back down to the 20 weekly moving average and then have a big bounce to the upside the more we are staying above all these moving averages the better it is because these are also coming up here so the closer these moving averages are to the price the less big the correction will be but at the moment we still have some huge warning signs here in the weekly time frame that we could maybe see a short-lived correction down to one of these moving averages before we continue to go to the upside and this would be the perfect buy entry if you have already a hodl position then this is maybe the perfect buy opportunity and long opportunity if you want to do a long term long trade for example over on Bybit or Femex because don't forget there you cannot only trade up to 100x leverage you can open up also a trade without leverage so for the long term if Bitcoin is going higher and higher your Bitcoins will also be worth way way more and at the same time you also accumulate more and more Bitcoin if you go without leverage your liquidation price is so low that you can easily manage to keep alive your trade even if it goes like 70% to the downside so that's why my friends I always recommend you to open up also an account over on Bybit and Femex because also if you go with very low leverage or without leverage you can do very nice gains especially since we are now entering in this next parabolic run up the bull run is confirmed and the next bigger targets are way way above to the levels that we are right now and that's why we're also gonna have a look into the logarithmic growth chart right now and therefore we have to go to the blx ticker and now let me pull out here the bitcoin logarithmic growth curves because here if we zoom out a bit and go into logarithmic mode you can see that we are just leaving here this green buy area so here in this graph you see that usually when bitcoin is trading in this green area it is a very good time to buy and when we are entering in this red area like here also in the past in 2013 and 2017 it's a good time to sell the thing is that currently this red area is right here between $88,000 and $66,500 so in theory right now we are heading towards these levels up here so the final target for this run-up could be even up here towards this red area of around $88,000 but since I think Bitcoin will go way way higher than that so way above $100,000 I think this graph potentially has to get updated but at least here you 
can see the realistic target that Bitcoin could have here in the future in the next couple of months. So at the end, it doesn't matter if you're buying right now or maybe if we have a retracement again back down towards 14, 15 thousand dollar because for the long term, if you're just buying and hodling, you will be doing very fine because sooner or later we will enter into this red zone again where you maybe can start to take out some profits but I definitely wouldn't try to take out profits before we're entering at least in this stage over here. If you look at the stock to flow ratio, the price model predicts a price way over 100,000. So me personally, I trust more the stock to flow model. So I think Bitcoin will go way over $100,000. I think $100,000 will be the new $6,000 that we had here in 2017 to 2019, where the 6K area acted as a very strong support and then also again resistance, but mostly of course support, especially here after the top of 20K, we always came down here to the 6K level until we broke it to the downside and then finally again moved here to the upside above 6k so overall bitcoin is looking still very bullish of the long term and it really doesn't matter if you're buying just now or even if the price is moving towards thirty thousand dollar if you have no bitcoin at the moment then start to dca right now you don't have to go all in but at least split your entries down to around fourteen thousand dollar and you should be doing fine here for the long term don't wait the price to come down again towards 10k and lower because at the moment this is really unlikely everything of course is possible but very very unlikely so on this graph you can clearly see that we're entering here into the middle area where previously also we had some resistance so i think it is very likely that maybe here in this uh, 25 to 30 thousand dollar area we're going to see a potential local top then maybe a major correction towards one of these important moving average that we have in the weekly and then gear up here for the next parabolic stage which will take us towards here this red line so at the end it doesn't really matter if now we're going first towards 30k or go lower towards fourteen thousand dollar you can do very nice gains and multiply your bitcoin my friends if you're also taking here some nice long and of course also accumulate as much bitcoin as possible so in the next one to two years your portfolio will grow in worth a lot so make sure that you are ready to take all these gains that are now possible since the volatility is back now here in the Bitcoin price and we will see the price go higher and higher here in the next couple of months and of course my friends again congratulations to all the hodlers that also stayed strong during all this bear market that we had here since the last time we reached here this 20k area so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel very important because i do daily ta videos and you definitely don't want to miss out on all of this great crypto content and if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femex where you can trade Bitcoin with leverage then make sure to use my invitation links because with my links you will get some bonus as well and if you want to buy cryptos if you are no coiner or a newcomer then use the recommended exchanges such as Swissborg, Binance and also Coinbase to buy cryptos with your credit card and also with your bank account because with my links you will get also some free coins and if you are a coinbase user then take these free altcoins that coinbase is giving to you if you use my invitation links you can get some free band protocol stellar or cheat eos and also compound completely for free you just have to use the links down below here and you can claim them over on coinbase so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.